We're here. The Mark X community is here and they're behind me 100%. And we're here for all the BMWs them out there who think that because they had a turbo, they stand it above the Mark X. No, no, the plane ground is even now. It's level. We have a turbocharged Mark X now versus a turbocharged BMW. Let's do it. Toughest Mark X in Jamaica. No joke. Skunk lifestyle, you don't know the vibe. First of all, before I even start this episode, let me just say big up to each and everyone that has been supporting the channel. The growth of our YouTube channel has been tremendous and trust me, my love on them. So before we get into this program today also, let me just big up my sponsors as well. They have been rocking with us since then till now. You don't know. Motor Loops team, Miracle Corp team, big up yourself for VP Racing, Fuels, Falcon Tires, just to name a few. You don't know the whole nine yards. Purple Blaster, they, they, them, them control Purple Blaster too. And a whole bunch of automotive products that you see out there. I want to big up Monster again for always energizing us. Big up to Grab and Go for always fueling us. Dollar for always financing us. And you know, say, big up to Tara. They've been bringing in a lot of our packages for a lot of my stuff. So you don't know. So before we start today's episode, let me just tell you. Dover will be kicking it soon. So you're big up to the Dover team. Straight looking forward to covering that event. But hot topic, hot topic, hot topic. Today we have Roland Crawford showing us probably the first Turbo Mark X in Jamaica. So you know how that go. We're bringing it to you here first on Skunk Lifestyle. So leave in the comment section below if you're a rock of Turbo Mark X when you finish. And if you say Team Bima or Team Mark X. Let's go. Yeah, lifestyle. World boss. So right now, these are the hottest X of Jamaica. <laughs> we'll get a quick interview with Roland. What are you doing? On? Okay, so you ready up? Ready. Let's get a quick interview now. Let's go. So yo, Roland, I'm actually here, you know. Yes, you are. We have a lot of questions that want to be answered, you know. Definitely here to answer them for you, Nick. So what are you going to do now? What we're going to do right now is to just show you underneath her, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, if I'm up, so you can see underneath her. I see the little secret what she have underneath there, right? Yeah. <laughs> right so cool. let's do that now. We're going to put down the lift. Yeah. Yeah, so Nick, as you can see, Jamaican and Japanese engineering combined together make this car a reality. We don't have German engineering to help us like a BMW. However, what we have is the creativity with Jamaican, with the reliability of the Japanese. And it combined together to present this car. So let me present to you. Don't present it to me yet. Let's answer a few questions. Go ahead. What was the whole vibe behind this? It was first an untouched territory and that's what intrigued me to it. It, it felt like I wasn't doing something that was the common mm -hmm. out there, which is we know out there the Honda, the Nissan, the BMWs. It felt like I was touching something else that is virgin territory mm -hmm. and um, that excited me a lot. Yes. So therefore that pushed me and the owner and the, our team to develop this car that you're about to see right now. Mm -hmm. All right, And that is what our focus was to actually have a product within less than six months available because right. when you put Jamaican engineering and Japanese reliability together you know nothing beat that yeah we have a reliable platform and at the end of the day we have Jamaican creativity to make it work right and this is what we're seeing right now and this is all completely stock platform mm -hmm. stock computer stock engine stock transmission stock drivetrain no, even the exhaust at the back of the car, completely stuck. 
All right, so let me show it to you. Man. The cover works, everything works. It looks pretty stuck. Pretty stuck, right? Yeah. Very simple. No cutting, nothing. We didn't have to cut the car, we didn't trouble anything of the structural integrity of the car. So the car itself is completely factory, right. as you can see. So, you know, we've been seeing the video circulating with mm -hmm. the turbo being underneath the car. Yes, so we got to lift her up so you can see. You, you know, to explain to us Yes, yeah, so the little cherry underneath there when she gets red, you know? <laughs> so, we're going to show you that right now. Right. We're going to show you the turbo um, under the car, right. and I'll give you the basis on the why I decided to put the turbo um, under the car as opposed to putting it inside of the engine bay, alright? All right, so, cool. we're going to show you that. As you can see, what we're looking at right now. Is the turbo sweet right and um, I'll give you a scenario what happened um, we had a canine filter on it before yeah right and um, because of the heat that was under here the canine filter took a, took a shit on us basically okay. the rubber and everything couldn't withstand the heat yeah. so I went back to the drawing board and I was sitting at my desk and I was sitting at my desk and I said what else am I gonna use other than a canine filter mm -hmm. and I saw a cup with um, some pen and some paper and everything mm -hmm. and this is actually a cup holder fully metal right kid watch your man <laughs> just by sitting at my desk sample man you know sitting at my desk and I just relax a little bit look at it and I said what am I gonna use that can withstand the heat under here as a filter right and mm -hmm. I actually use a cup holder on the car so what we have here is a turbocharged charger that doesn't use any oil right no oil no water water is optional mm. I actually put an optional water on it however it's no oil feed no oil return and waterless nice what that we actually got two years this turbo comes with two years warranty on it mm. and the manufacturer said Roland you can drive it through as much water as you want water should not do this turbo anything so persons were asking can this car be driven true water right. the answer is yes just like rally cars and other cars out there water do not affect this car what i realized as well that when i when i'm looking under it now you would think that the turbo actually is lower than it actually is it actually is it's above yeah, it the is turbo above. is above yes all right and we have a guard and everything underneath yeah, here I too. Realize you put protect, a guard right protect, there it, protect well. it and everything so when the owner hear that they know same him reach there mm -hmm. that's the limit of the threshold all right and as you can see we, we retained everything factory the right. factory cat yeah you can see the two catalysts nice all factory right yeah so all of this coming back here is all factory specification so this is the intake pipe right and this is the inlet the intake yeah. pipe that is sending the air right. back into the um, charge system nice but you can see and that all this fabrication done by you right? all of this is done by a team of us yeah you we want have, to them up? yes oh, yeah. man we have got a friend Travis Big up Travis. Oh, yeah. All right. oh, yeah man, I couldn't oh. do it without the um, welders and the fabricators out yeah, there. Man. They actually listened to what my my mindset was mm -hmm. and um, what I put on pen and paper, right. draw it actually, and they put it together for me to make it a reality. So talk to me about the tranny. Okay. What's the plan for the tranny? The transmission, we are going to be going up more with the power. Right. However, I suspect this transmission should hold up to four fifty, um, 550. Because I don't feel any slipping. We're yet. not feeling any slipping. Yeah. All right, so therefore it's holding. And I've been monitoring the slip ratio on the transmission and the temperature. Mm -hmm. And it's looking really good. Right. Um, the secret to the transmission is Toyota products. Okay. Continue to use Toyota oil, continue to... Oh. Don't you... Just keep it as factory as possible right. with the transmission. However, we will be building a level 5 transmission to put in there mm -hmm. in the future. However, for now, it's, it's living. Show me the bricks. These are these, these are actually Brembo's that came. These are this actually car? Brembo's that came. You can take a look from it from this side. Yeah. And we have the upgraded rotor that we're going to be putting on shortly. Okay. So these Brembo's came from factory. From factory. Okay. From factory. Nice. Right. Is that, is, for the power and the vibes that it's pushing on right now, mm -hmm. it's a pretty simple setup, you know. Very simple. And I'll show you something interesting. The owner wanted us to retain the stock exhaust right very quiet very subtle the all the above remember the owner is a tesla driver yeah he's not used to the not to make noise mm -hmm. so let's take a look at the exhaust now so as you can see we could have even pushed this to a little bit more horsepower right i wanted to put an aftermarket exhaust on it but the owner said you know what earl and i want the quietness to it mm -hmm. so as you can see we retain the factory drums nice. on the car 
all oh. stock from Toyota. So this is a full-blown factory specs car that we're looking at, other than the inclusion of a turbocharger. So this is the first, but I'm sure not the only. No, not the only. We actually have more. We have actually three more turbocharger cars, a 250 coming out, another 350 that's going to be coming out, and um, we should have some other cars coming very soon. So I mean, you know that this car and you, you pretty much spot the whole vibe between the Bimas. Yeah. And the vlog wouldn't be a vlog without some controversy <laughs> yes. thrown in the mix. What do you have to say to the BMW man? Well, now? what I say is, and I've been saying this, uh, quarter the price of a BMW, five times the fun, ten times the reliability. That is what I say in there. All right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it is it is not as you don't have, not everyone need to go out there and spend a, a lot of money to buy a M Sport BMW, M3, M4. That is giving them 400 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can own a Mark X and get 400 horsepower out of it. And that is what I'm trying to prove here. That you can buy an M, yes, that comes from factory that gives you 400. But also you can just get, you can get the same reliability from Toyota and the power when we put a turbocharger on it for you. The world is, well, Jamaica is slowly opening up back. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you're going to be taking it to the truck. Yes. Debut, we want to have a debut um, August 1st right. at Jam West. We plan to do some tire upgrade on it to put on some radials at the back and um, get some tires at the front to just get it to hook. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some suspension work on the car right now because the owner primary focus is drag racing. Right. So we want to make sure we have a full, full body car, not cutted, not gutted, mm -hmm. and we want to run an 11 second car. So if we do 11 okay, 9 so or 11 8, so the, the, the aim is 11 an 11 second, second class. 11 second market. Yes. All right. Nice. And that is what we want to do. So, and the diff, when I look at the diff on the car from factory, it's the same size as a super diff. Yeah. A same size, size diff, diff de decent size diff. Mm -hmm. So therefore, and when I, I look at it, Toyota reliability. Toyota reliability. Toyota believes in full reliability at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. it's living. We can launch it. We can bang on it. And the car is living at the end of the day. So the last time you last time you got some pulls with some bimas, you mm -hmm. were on nitrous. Yes, the last time it was on nitrous. And Nick, let me tell the the BMW boys, the nitrous is still there. It's not going anywhere. I'm uh, looking forward to get some pulls in this car. So you're gonna get a pull with nitrous and boost one day. Next time I'm gonna make sure I take you for a pull with nitrous and boost. But today so you it's can just feel boost. it. But today it was just 6.5 pound of boost, and that's all you felt at the end of the day. That's it. Um, you didn't feel the additional 70 horsepower from the nitrous yeah, yeah, and that yeah. is still there but again we're slowly understanding the boost technology in it right now and um, working our way in to it all right but with race day expect to have some some serious power all right so you're representing the Toyota man you yes man i'm representing for Toyota i'm representing i'm representing for everybody you know but at the end of the day the markex guys they have someone who they can depend on yeah. at the end of the day to know that all right fine i can give you reliable power at mm -hmm. the end of the day reliable safe horsepower and that is what our objective is nice all right? well yo, listen as i said before you speak it into being it was mm -hmm. like about probably about seven months ago yeah six months ago yeah we had this conversation i know it's actually happening yes let's have a word with the owner today yes man leon the last time right leon is here again well, yeah, man. So, leon. <laughs> leon the last time i spoke to you I don't think we had the discussion about you boosting it, the markets. I know it's actually boosted. Yes, sir. You know, give me, give me, give me a, a, a review on it. It's the rule and idea. Yeah. <laughs> it was my idea behind it, and Leon supported it 100%. Yeah. And um, I asked him, how does it feel now over the nitro? So I want to hear him say no. What do you say about that? Listen, the nitro, it has a potential, yes. But the, the turbo just is a whole different ball game. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah man. So you're 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 you're, you're pleased with what you're feeling in the car right Yes now. I do. And it looks like you're gonna be pushing this project with Roland to see hopefully that we can have the first eleven second markets in the island. Well that's the whole um idea. Yeah to get it to eleven seconds. Well you know what I'm happy for you, you know because sometimes projects are trials and failures but mm -hmm. this one is deeming to be a good one so far. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, nothing be that trial but the feeler, right? Definitely. Yeah. What's the big up Roland, man? Yeah, man. What's the big up Roland? 
with the hair. Some people that's call it. it a mad scientist. <laughs> but at the end of the day, listen, that's what scientists are here for. To try yeah. new experiments and get things going. That's true. Yeah, and I tell the younger generation, sometimes you just sit back a little bit and just think about stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, it's never good to follow the norm. Right. All right. It's always good to step back out and just, you know, understand what you're doing mm -hmm. and um, to just use your creativity juice. End of the day, look what I did with a cup holder. I had a challenge, Leon said to me, Roland boy, the Canaan filter, but now I work, yeah. now I work out. So I'm like, which other, meta, which other filter am I going to use that carry no form of rubber right. to withstand that heat under there? And I was just sitting at the desk upstairs and I had a pen and a paper and I had, I had my pen holder mm -hmm. and I took my Verna caliper and measured it and I was like okay but this is the same dimension of a turbo yeah. so if I push this over the turbo it becomes a metal filter now yep. and that is what makes the difference guys younger generation please just continue to use your creativity do not follow the norm out there mm -hmm. do not follow the hype yes it's cheaper yes it's easier yeah. but at the end of the day try something different all right and that is what I'm imploring with the younger generation to always try something else all right Roland big up yourself again yes we're gonna go for some pulls in the car now yes so Leon always a pleasure to see you bro <laughs> hopefully one day we'll get to vlog the Tesla as well yes you know definitely so when we go, go up we're pulls, gonna no? see you all right let's go for some pulls Nick right, let's go. Let's do it. big up Roland general a general from now on here's my boss Keep up the good work. Ex scientist, man. Ex scientist. Any ex in building. How you say? You was a part of the project. Yeah, man. I yeah, man. Chief Fabric engineer, them, man. Yo. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Nitrous genius. Trust me. Good job, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. You don't know oh. anything when I give you a tour, man. Yeah, man. We have Kenrick. We're Kenrick. We're Renata. Kenrick, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Young Jenna. Ready, yes, ready, run it. Yeah. Oh, we have a female on the project, you know. Yeah. Let me go get her, man. Eh? She got out of your car. Yeah, we have a female on the project. You're going to meet her, Renee. So yeah, we have man. a good team putting together at the end of the day that is going to support Listen, the car. Roland, you're doing something good for the youths. Yes. You're doing something good for the motorsports. And at the end of the day, it's a different vibe. I'm going to love it. Yes. Well, that is the key. Man, you know. Because me, I come put on turbo for my character. You know? oh. <laughs> oh. I'm a 56 year old. Yeah. I used to drive a twin turbo one time. But no, when I see what I'm going to say now, my man, by before the end of the year, I put on turbo for my vehicle. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah. 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 Yo, yeah, let's big go up, for a pull uh, now. Big up Roland. Yeah man, bless up yeah, yourself. Man. And we are, you know we have our bad electrician. Let's him do the installation yeah, for all let's of the nitrous coming. <laughs> Alright, Romy. Big up man. Yeah man. Yeah. Romy yeah. have a 4G63 in a starlet. Yeah. All wheel drive. Remember that? Full Evo drivetrain mm -hmm. in a turbo well, starlet. Yeah man, soon, soon, soon. So, again we'll put a good team together from the rural area. Yeah. A lot of people think that speed live in Kingston. Speed don't live in Kingston. Speed don't live in Portland. Speed is all across the island. Love and that. People, eh? people need to realize that. One passion. One passion, one objective, one goal. Yeah, man. At the end of the day. Alright? So this is all built Jamaica, so that's all built. Love. Yeah, man, this Jamaica, is right, all right. Jamaican. Alright? We didn't we didn't have to go overseas to pull a German part and to pull uh, a part from Europe to get this thing done. No. This is all Jamaican. And big up Google. He was also, <laughs> Google was there with me just the same. I couldn't do it without him also. Yeah, man. So, definitely Google was there. Um, it's a good team put together and as you can see, it, didn't take, it took us a lot of hours and creativity. Mm -hmm. Because we really sit back, you know, and wonder, Roland said, want a turbo underneath the car. Really? Yeah. And people say, Roland, you really can go under the car? I mean, I say, yes, that is where I want it to be. I Yo, want come that turbo. Around you saw the meme that I did with it. Right? Yes. seen a turbo placed on that car before. Roland, you're great. What? And it shell on Instagram for I know. <laughs> you see me? But so, I had to I had to follow over here because yeah. I wanted the, the science behind it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to understand. I wanted to let the, the general public understand why you went to that road. Yes man, it was one where I didn't want to affect the, the chassis of the car. I didn't mm -hmm. want to do any form of cutting or none of the above. And, Coming from the US, um, understanding what is going over there, and that's what exposure is a hell of a thing, you know, because mm -hmm. it teaches you a lot of stuff. You start yeah. to see the guys with the Corvette and the Mustang running similar setup like what I'm running now. Yeah. So I said, you know what, this is the setup, but end of the day is to understand what turbo matches what setup. It's not just about strapping on a turbo anymore. No. All right, and as you can see, we put a turbo on this car that all we pump in is grease. Yeah. The turbo use grease. 
Yeah, man. That's it. No oil feed, no oil return, no form of oil smoke, nothing. You just drive. And you can run it through as much water as you want. All right? Big up. Let's go for a pull. Let's go for a pull, man. Let's do it. Same. Mm -hmm. Very safe to drive. So you can have a 400 horsepower Mark X that is safe to drive with Toyota reliability behind it and the traction control that is there. Yeah. Um, the fact that you can roll in the power makes it even better and the car get unruly. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not an aggressive boost. Mm -hmm. It comes on linear like you say, mm -hmm. which is good mm -hmm. because you get to put down the power better exactly. that way. Exactly. Alright, so let's yeah. go for a reaction pull now. Another pull now and see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. In drive normal. It's drive. And you can hear that turbo whistling. No. Lifestyle. <laughs> I feel very smooth. Three eight. Five four. Okay. It has brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder if it has brakes. <laughs> but it is proven to me that it has brakes. <laughs> right? Yo. Roll on. Mad. You won't get a pull from outside, right? Yeah, man. Alright, cool. I know. Mm -hmm. First Turbo Mark X man yeah, driving, man. I know. Yeah, man. And the clock is literally finished. Less than a one eight, and the clock is literally finished. No, no, me no, me no, me no, me no bullshit you. Mm -hmm. It feels good. Yeah, man. The only Thank thing you. I'd want you to work on is just the suspension. Yeah. Cause you know that you got more power now, so yeah. you can start floating. Yeah. Floating. We're going. To, we're definitely gonna put some teens on it. Yeah. And get it um to run a little bit tighter, you know. Yeah. You, you can see yeah. the cards. Instant power. Yeah. No, no lag. Oh. Instant power right here. Oh, really you can hear the blow up again. Yeah. Oh, bro. This is amazing. Really amazing, bro. I'm proud of you, know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm proud of you, know. I'm gonna tell you Nick. why. Because you have some people that talk mm -hmm. and it never manifests. Mm -hmm. The fact that you do it. Give the Mark X community hope. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Uh, we're here for them. You know, the, um, it's Jamaican and Japanese technology that yeah. is in this car. We don't have the the the. the Yo, it's a run, you know. What? Yeah, man. Oh, a plane, dog. Yeah. It hot. It hot, hot too, brother. Yeah, yeah, man. 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 X, X to the world, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a run. The 
the niche market like what the BMW them have, which is the um, the German line. Yeah. You know, everything is all German and everything. So, so you're gonna give us a, yeah, so a I'm gonna give you a launch and um you want to get a launch out of it and see it full or you want to get an outside pull first? Which one you want? Yeah, I'm going to capture it from outside. That's nice. <laughs> but Nick, trouble there, as you can see. Turbocharged Mark X. Who you say I call out here? Well, so far we have BJ, we have God, we have Joan. We beat the X3. The X3 call every day for a race. But we don't kill Duppy. Nick, but we're dead already. We can't kill Duppy. We're not set that. We're not Duppy conquer. But right now we have BJ with the 235, Joan with the M4, and God. With the 435, right? that's the call out at this time. All right, so Bima's, as Bima's yeah, man, car. definitely. Um, BMW, we know that already. BMW guys think we would have leave it. Let's go, go look in the back of the chunk for me. The deck, what's going on in here? Yes, man, it's still, mm -hmm. so it's still, it's still exists. you know that one name, just in case. <laughs> All right, <laughs> all right, and everybody body else will come on the side, just forward. We, we have it covered, but the debut we're targeting for. Um, August 1st for the Jam West to really launch the car and get a time and see what the car made up of. Alright? There's a lot more stuff that I'm figuring out right now. So we're looking good at this time. Thanks so much to everyone. We have um, Travis, we have um, Godafry, we have um, Google, we have Kenrick, the whole elite team, and we couldn't do it without the owner at the end of the day, you know, we couldn't do it without him. Um, end of the day, it's a beautiful car, first on the island. And we'll get the chance to see it in action today. Mad. Full sideway, right? Yeah. A lot of sideway action, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Big up. So, big up, Nick. <laughs> what are you doing here, man? I'm scanning the vehicle to see what's going on with the code. Yeah, the check engine light that popped up. So, I'm taking a look USA. to see exactly Whoa. what is the issue. This is because amazing. Because, you know, with the check engine light, it can be a wide array of different things that actually trigger the light. So, I'm actually just scanning it to see exactly what's going on. Here, what I'm going to do. I'm going forward back one of these days and give it a special vlog because we need more females in the industry. Alright? Yeah, What's your name? Cordania. Alright, so you, how, how long have you been here? Uh, For a while from opening. Nice. Keep it up. We link up, alright? Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. One of our baddest alignment personnel. Beer in the man. Eh? <laughs> yeah, man. You look young, but I'm not so young. <laughs> you just look young? Yeah, we just look young. Yo, how you like working here? Ah, it's good, uh, good ambience. Customers yeah. are nice. So as long as you are nice to them and you explain them, explain everything, you know, thoroughly. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, good I to can't go. Roll and charisma rubbing off on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it is, you know. He's a, he's a good guy. Good job. Good yeah, guy. Man. Big up yourself. All right, Nick, no sell. Good job! Yo, it's nice to see the youth them. Well gone. Oh, man, it's a big man. Super boy, right? What do you say, good? Up yourself. Keep doing it, alright? Yeah. Bless up. Nick, we're here. The Mark X community is here and they're behind me 100 percent And we're here for all the BMWs them out there who think that because they had a turbo, they stand it above the Mark X. No, no, the plate, the ground plate, the plane ground is even now. It's level. We have a turbocharged Mark X now versus a turbocharged BMW. 
Let's do it.